In today's video, I'm going to talk about how a magical wizard can change your fears. What am I talking about? Well, keep watching and you'll find out. Hi, I'm Christopher Paul Jones, the Breakthrough Expert. And in today's video, I'm not going to talk about some Jungian tool or some Freudian tool or some tool developed by some guru in India. I'm going to talk about this tool that was developed by the one, the only, magical wizard boy, Harry Potter. What am I talking about? I'm talking about, of course, the ridiculous spell. Now, for those of you who haven't seen it or read the books, what happens with the ridiculous spell is they take something they're terrified of and then they do the ridiculous spell and they make it funny. So, for example, they take a spider and suddenly it's on roller skates and comical. Or they take the scary teacher that they don't ridiculous. like, Snape, and they suddenly make him funny, they make him comical. And that's what we can do with our fears. Because in order to be afraid, we're making pictures in our minds of of the worst case scenario. So for example, with a spider, we're making it big and bright and, and terrifying. We're, we're imagining it magnified. With a fear of flying, we're imagining the plane crashing or imagining ourselves glued to the seat, scared, or imagining all these things that can go wrong. Maybe a piece of news footage we remember. But whatever it is, it's like we're playing a horror movie in our mind. And just like in any movie, in order to make something scary, there's a certain pace to the way the images are portrayed. There's a certain closeness or a uh, certain color temperature to the images. Um, there's a certain soundtrack that goes with it. So dun, 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 dun. And if you look at what's called re-edits on YouTube, this is where they take things like ho certain horror movies and then they re-edit them to make them look like they're a family film. And they've done this with things like It and Saw. And so if you want to change how you feel, you do, can do that too, internally. So imagine that thing you're scared of. What are you seeing when you think of that? And just notice what you picture in your mind. And you'll also have a soundtrack. Now, very often that could be literal, that could be the sounds that are going on around you. So for example, with the fear of flying, it could be the engine noise, or it could be your internal dialogue, your internal voice that's going something like, oh no, I'm not safe, in big, loud voice. So if you were to take that, make it funny. So imagine that ridiculous spell was put on it. Imagine taking that spider and making him tiny and putting him on roller skates or making him have a top hat and suddenly start singing at show tune. How would that change your perceptions to him. And in the same way, you take that fear of flying. What would happen if you made it a cartoon? What happens if it was suddenly like a Simpsons cartoon in your mind? It's likely to reduce the fear. And then you could take that soundtrack, that internal voice or that noise, and what would happen if you suddenly sped up the volume? So you made it really high pitch and squealy, oh no, we're gonna crash. Make it like a chipmunk, make it like Mickey Mouse. It's likely to take out the impact. It's likely to make it funny. Or you could strip out the soundtrack and just add in your own, like this. All those things are gonna take out the charge and take out the emotion, because it's very hard to have two emotions running at the same time. So if you're laughing, it's very hard to feel afraid. And that's really how Harry Potter and his magical therapy works. Don't believe me? Try it for yourself and let me know in the comments below. Of course, you can also watch my live intervention where I do this, where I take someone who has a fear of flying make it funny and then keep reconditioning it till eventually the person can't think about that thing they're afraid of without bursting out laughing. So you can check that out too. There'll probably be a link above somewhere. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and of course share. And until next time, I'm Christopher Paul Jones. Get up.